And so I remember uh, as an animator came into my office and said, so what's the piece going to look like? And I had a buffalo head on my wall and a boar head <laughs> and all kinds of different things and animal photos everywhere. And I said, I don't know. I've been working on this for six months, but it's kind of like, I don't know. I said, I, I, I like this buffalo, the shape of a buffalo head. It's just really big and massive. Kind of a bear-like body that would be attached to it. But it's kind of the cranium, though, of a gorilla with this crest of the gorilla. And maybe gorilla brow there wild and expressive and mm -hmm. like an animal and like that whole thing and but maybe the the muzzle like of a boar the hair that grows backwards on it and the tusks that come up and but that buffalo beard we we'll let that be there but he's got to be soft and cuddly so we'll give him a mane of a lion Bell needs to fall in love with him. Yeah. And the horns are kind of like a combination of a variety of different horned animals that I had on my wall. It's kind of like this curving straights and twists and rotating shape like that. And then as I'm drawing, I'm thinking, wait a second, is, is the audience going to believe that Bell falls in love with this guy? Mm -hmm. I mean, I too ugly. I don't know. Maybe he's too scary. I'll give him cow ears to soften him. <laughs> and so I drew that. I said, but ultimately inside there's a prince that's trapped right. inside and it's the the eyes of the prince are there. And as I drew the eyes, it's like that's him. Mm. I said, that's what he's going to look like. There he is. And it was just about as much time as it's taken for me to do this drawing for you that actually the design happened like that. So it's all natural. It's all on the spot. Well, if there was a lot of drawings that went before, right. which I didn't go for. But there's a moment where everything just seems to come together. And uh, that's how it looked for the mm. beast. Gosh, thank you so much. That's incredible. Pleasure. That's incredible that, you know, it's almost been 25 years since that film's been out, and, it's, and it comes to you like that. It's, am it's amazing. Yeah, well, the characters, once you know them, you, they become part of your life. They're like a child. You just, they go off into the world, but they're always a part of you.